Welcome to the Farmstead and Kitchen. My name is Rebecca and today we're going to be making one of my favorite salads, ambrosia salad. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna let Dave go ahead and pan what we got, our ingredients here, and we'll, we're gonna talk about these a little bit. So what I have here in the stand mixer bowl, I just whipped one half cup of heavy whipping cream with one tablespoon of sugar. So I've already done that. I just took it off the stand mixer. That's ready to go. Up front here, we have four ounces of sour cream or half a cup. So we have a half a cup of sour cream. We have about two and a half cups of a mini marshmallow. And then next to that, we're gonna talk about this a minute because I am using all fresh fruit in my ambrosia salad. This is the way that I like it. I like to make it just as fresh as I can instead of using canned fruit. This is the way I like it. So what I have here is about one cup of these delicious pixie tangerines. Um, our Southern California followers are gonna know exactly what these are. We do have these in our store this time of the year and I love to use these in the ambrosia salad. So I have one cup of these. It's just the segments. I leave them just like that. They're very small. Now, if you can't get your hands on the pixie tangerines, just use a clementine. That's gonna work uh, perfectly fine for you as well. But I love these. And you know, with our Easter dishes, our holiday um, dishes, we like to just kind of make it a little extra special. So that's what I like to use in these pixie tangerines. We have one cup. And then right next to that, I'll put this over here, Dave, so you can see a little bit better. So what we have here is one cup of fresh pineapple. Instead of using a can, I cut up some fresh pineapple. And then next to that is our coconut. Now I know a lot of people don't like coconut. They don't like to put that in ambrosia salad, but I do. So I have one cup of a flaked sweetened coconut. Now back here, I have what I like to put in mine. Um, I'll either use a toasted pecan, or now I have found these. It's a honey roasted pecan, and they're so delicious. I could just eat this whole entire bag, just like this, but I like to put those in the ambrosia salad. All right, now, my very favorite over here is the marchino cherry. Now, I know you're looking at this and thinking, okay, that does not look like a marchino cherry. Let's talk about this. This is the original Marchino cherry, the Luxardo brand. And I tell you what, these cherries are awesome. I turned Ashley on to these. She loves them as well. Um, this is the original, the original uh, Marchino cherry. Um, you can use what we're typically used to here, it's just the red Marchino cherry. You totally can use those. And I have a half a cup here. But let me open this up and just show you these. Now you probably will have to order these. Look how thick the syrup is on these. They're made in Italy. It's the, uh, the way Marchino cherries really are. The red ones that we get here that you're used to, um, those are kind of highly processed. They bleach those out. They add red food coloring. But if you really just want something special for your ambrosia salad, I would highly recommend that you use the, the real deal. They are so good, so delicious. So I just wanted to share that with you. All these little special things. All right, so let's go ahead. Now, this is pretty simple to put together. I'm gonna go ahead and get the whipping cream up here and we're gonna fold in the sour cream. So let's just go ahead and fold that up. We'll just mix it right in this bowl here. I think it'll hold everything perfectly fine. And you know, the sour cream with the whipping cream, that's just that classic ambrosia flavor. To have that little bit of tang in there from the sour cream. All right, let's just start adding. Let's go ahead and add those pixie tangerines. We're gonna add our fresh diced pineapple. Our coconut. I just love the salad. I could just flounder on it. Dave knows this. I'm always. It's like the first thing that goes on my plate at at uh, Easter holiday. Yeah. I love it. Okay, there goes those delicious pecans. And our 
more cherries. Look at that syrup in there. Oh, I love those. All right, let me get just a little bigger spatula here. So then all you do is just mix it up. I tell you what, I'm gonna eat some of this for lunch. This is gonna be my lunch today. No protein involved, but hey, it's gonna be good. Oh, I love it. And I like to mix it up just like this, like right before you get ready to serve. I don't like for it to hang out in the fridge. I just like it to be as fresh as it can be. And I want you to try it with all the fresh fruit instead of canned. Um, you're gonna see the difference. It is, I think it's just so much better. And I really want you to try those Marchino cherries. But there it is. Okay, I have to grab a spoon because I'll just use this one right here. I just gotta taste some of this. Let me get one of those pixie. Okay, here we go. I got a cherry in that bite. I think I hear the angels singing. That is so good. We'll post everything for you. We want you to try our fresh ambrosia salad.